Tulsa looks good on you, your one-stop resource for all things Tulsa. Well, hey there, it's Jenny. I'm so excited to talk with Brent, the executive director here at Circle Cinema. Tell us about what you guys have going on at this fabulous place. Well, this is Tulsa's only remaining historic movie house. It's 95 years old. Wow. It was Tulsa's first suburban theater, if you can imagine this area <laughs> as on the edge of town. Um, but uh, it reopened in the early 2000s as right. an art house cinema, which means we show a lot of films that you can't always see mm -hmm. at home via streaming or right. at the multiplex, uh, art films, educational films, yeah. uh, horror is a popular genre right now, um, just you name it. And, and it's a first run movie theater. Uh, we show all the new films, but most importantly, we are a nonprofit organization. And a lot of people don't know that, but we have the support of the community and our wonderful members. So how does that work? An a movie house that is a nonprofit. How does that work? Well, uh, you know, we're, we're a nonprofit and a business at the same time. You know, right. we're funded partially by ticket and concession sales, mm -hmm. uh, but also uh, the contributions of our members. Okay. We have over 3,000 members. They're very dedicated moviegoers. And, um, you know, we, we uh, enjoy the support of uh, the local corporate community right. and foundations. So what do you get with your membership? You know, we have memberships at different levels, okay. and they start, actually, our 35 millimeter memberships are for okay. people under the age of 35, and they're $35 a year, <laughs> but with that, you get uh, discounted film tickets mm -hmm. year-round, yeah. and free popcorn all year, which is an amazing offer for all of our members. Mm -hmm. So, um, when a member joins, they get free popcorn for one year which is underwritten by one of our generous donors. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> so there's a lot of benefits for being a member. There are a lot of benefits. <laughs> I mean, if you think about the 35 millimeter membership for our younger uh, members, they, they could um, benefit from you know, that membership, $35 in a week. Yeah. Right, um, right. So, yeah. So, uh, so far in your time of being here, what's been some of your favorite either features, movies, oh, events gosh. that you guys have put on? You know, so I like to say at the Circle Cinema, film is never just a film. Right. You know, it's a film associated with uh, an event, an event such as the filmmakers being present mm -hmm. to answer questions after the film with the audience. Uh, yeah. Perhaps it's a, a, a panel discussion of subject matter experts. Wow. For example, we showed an important film about teenage suicide, and we mm -hmm. had a panel of mental health experts yeah. uh, that talked to the audience afterwards. Um, and, of course, who can forget Barbie? It was the summer of Barbie, it was. and we had uh, Barbie brunches uh, where everyone came dressed in their best pink, and we had pink food and pink drinks. <laughs> And we had actually a Barbie historian who talked to the audience about the history of Barbie. Oh, uh, I missed and, that. Uh, how she and her friends, including Ken, have changed through the years. So um, fun. And, you know, every week there's something interesting happening at the Circle. For example, yeah. last Sunday, we partnered with the Jewish Federation of Tulsa to uh, premiere the new film Golda with Helen Mirren uh -huh. and uh, Tulsa's new Jewish deli. Uh, we're serving so brisket and pastrami sandwiches here in the lobby. Uh, so, you know, a couple of months ago, we showed a film about a donkey, and we had six live donkeys in the lobby, uh, and adults and children got to interact with them and then see the film. And that's just, those are just examples of how, you know, with every film, we attempt to partner mm -hmm. with an organization in so Tulsa, good. whether it's the symphony or the zoo or... TU, we have a close mm -hmm. association with the University of Tulsa since they're just a few blocks away, yeah. and we work with their film program. Man, everybody has a good time when they come to the circle. Everybody smiles when they walk in this building. Yeah. Um, you know, again, it's really the only place in Tulsa to get that traditional, old-fashioned, mm -hmm. movie-going experience. Yeah. But at the same time, we offer an amazing, innovative array of films, as right. I said, in every genre. You know, another thing we do that 
you might be interested in is uh, every, the second Saturday morning of every month we show a silent, a classic silent film, oh. and with live accompaniment on our pipe organ in our big theater. Wow! And uh, that when they fire up that pipe organ yeah. on Saturday morning, you can hear it thundering down the block, That's and, and, and it's it's the only place in well, in Oklahoma to get that experience. Yeah. Well, I know I enjoy following Circle Cinema on Instagram. You always post some great stuff there. Where else can people best find you and, and where are you located? Well, we're located in the historic Kendall Whittier neighborhood. Okay. We were actually the, the first uh, business to open in this area when it started to yeah. uh, regenerate and, and reinvigorate itself. And we're yep. the flagship down here. And now we have an amazing array of local shops. Mm -hmm. We have so uh, clothing stores and bookstores and coffee shops and bars. It, and, and of course, every Saturday morning, we have the farmer's market yep. right outside our doors. Yep. So parking can be a little tough, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Yep. And um, yeah, everybody's welcome to the circle. And we do have the best popcorn in town. Yes, you do. <laughs> I've enjoyed it myself. Thank you for sharing this amazing historic yeah. building and, and business with us. Oh, and thank you. we can't wait to uh, come see a movie soon. Oh, yeah. Everybody <laughs> come see a movie. And let me add, we are the only local theater to actually have an ad in the daily newspaper listing our film. Right. Still, the old fashioned way. <laughs> I mean, you can see our films on our our schedule on our app or on our website right? right you can also see it in the newspaper i love sticking with tradition there so that's great well you guys come check it out and we'll talk to you later